Today marks one of the hottest days this year. Places in the mid-state, like Madeline said, hitting 97 degrees. Sonica Bargo joins us with more on what people are doing to beat the heat. Sonica. Janelle Taylor, some people might have decided to stay inside to escape the heat, but for many in Cumberland County, the hot weather gave them the perfect excuse to spend a few hours in the water. Temperatures in the upper 90s. It's hot. Driving quite a few people to the Lemoyne community pool Sunday. It was like really bad. Yeah, We're all sweating, hot. panting. The pool saw a lot of families, but manager Kathy Wolfers says Saturday was actually busier. I think, you know, people were talking about the heat index. People were staying home more, maybe. But that heat index didn't stop everybody. I just didn't want to stay inside any more than I already was this weekend. It's so. hot and I'm bored. Robbie Harris and his friends spent several hours in the water just playing games. We were playing a game called Colors where the person that's up on the surface, they have to say a color. Whenever someone has the color in their head, you have to go and try to swim over to the pool line. Some people came out to escape even hotter environments. I'm uh, in a kitchen actually, so with so all, of, all of the uh, uh, utensils being on and whatnot, just makes it all very hot. Pool staff are taking their own steps. We also have water inside for them. On their breaks, they do get in the water, they jump, jump in, cool off. To make sure their lifeguard team can handle the heat. When they are not in the pool or not on guard, be in the guard shack, even though it is hot because we don't have air conditioning in there, but at least they're out of the sun. The weather is expected to cool down a little, but pool goers still say stay cold. Yeah, yeah stay <laughs> cool down. Cool. Hydrate. <laughs> Hydrate Drink water. The Mid-State is not the only spot dealing with the heat wave. Newark, New Jersey hit 100 degrees for five straight days. That's the longest stretch on record. New York City set up more than 500 cooling centers. And in Philadelphia, misting stations were set up outside the ballpark. In the studio, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News.